raining and hot. Okay, guys, like I say, everything in trading it goes step by step. You can have a long term buyers, but you have to play the game or play the trading, the trading thing step by step. I mean, nobody's going to have always the right count, but what you're going to have is the, the, high, the, the right tools and, follow, uh, and the right guidelines to make your whole trading system. And the reason that I've been saying this is this. Okay, Let's, this is the U.S. dollar index in the four hours. Right here, we were expecting U.S. dollar winnings. That's exactly what happened. Now, as a trader, you need to come and say, okay, here we go. U.S. dollar winnings. Why you were expecting U.S. dollar winnings right there? Most of everything, because you see a complete move right here in this leg. Now, at that stage, you say, okay, if I'm going to be bullish dollar, this is going to be one, uh, one, A, a flat B, and C. Guess what? Most likely, that can, I mean, that was the bullish dollar count, that then the dollar needs to drop in five ways to here and bounce higher. This is what is proving the market today after 12 hours and I did last night video. That that, mark, that, that count is completely wrong. Right? Why? Because, very simple, the decline here proved to be corrective. The decline there went to the 50% retracement by the pit of the previous high, of the previous run. In other words, they, they moved from Sunday to Thursday or Wednesday night. That was when the decline went. And, and the dollar rebounds in five ways. So, with that in mind, guess what? The market is more clear today than it was yesterday. Believe it, you guys, or no. Now, which alternative you have here? Is what you mean from here? Yes. Yeah, I see five out. That's what I just say. Exactly. Now, what is clear now is this, that you have only two ways, either one, two, one, two, one, two, and higher to the, to the sky on the dollar, as simple as that. Second way, A, B, C, W, S, A, B, C. No other way around, to be honest with you guys. I don't know. If you guys see another, please let me know. In my view, those two ways. Now, a little bigger picture. What you have on the dollar, you're saying that this is either a W on the three way for the lows, or this is one with that ugly overall structure into the, the to make a five way. Oh, that one right there is something like wave three in an ugly leading diagonal, or oh, is a nest one two. So something that you know for sure, very simple. Three way move. Yes or no? That's a three. Now, ideally, what we were expecting: W, S, and Y. That's ideally. Now, if you don't want to force an issue, or if you don't want to force a bias, play the, play the safest game. Wave three of three of three, and technically wave three of three should break every, any. If the, if the dollar is going to break to the upside, most likely the break of this trend line right here most likely is the final confirmation that that is taking place. Now, 
in my view, this looks like a raising waging. I don't like it as a leading diagonal because at this stage, I believe that the, the third way, which is this one, is the shortest one, exactly. So it cannot be a leading diagonal at this stage. Now, what we believe right here is that it looks like it is five, three, five, three, five, three, and now it looks like it's gonna trade to the 76.4 that we've been mentioning for a while around the 79, 78, 60 area. That's how it looks like that it can do this and explode, it's possible. It's possible. Only looking at the dollar is possible. I don't like that many nests, and I know so in the daily count that is bullish, in my view. I know so in that. I'm more for the bearish count. And then I'm more in the idea that this is a, a S way in the case of the dollar. As simple as that, guys, why complicated? S&P, same scenario. Let me move on. Any question about the dollar, guys? Raji, any of you guys? Any question right there? It's very clear in my eyes what the next, what the gain, what the next trade should be. We always knew. We always knew that that, that scenario can be possible. Now I can tell you something, guys. Before. We move from the dollar. The next high right here, after a nice, a nice five-way move, should be fadeable. The reason being is this: one, two, three, four, five, six. It's gonna be seven swing. In other words, if it gets down here, when you know, when you see five ways out is completely fadeable. The same way that it can be tradable to the outside three bucks here against this low. Guys follow me? Now let's see the dollar in the in one in a one hour before I, I move on from the dollar. One second. One second. Because I was trying to organize the counts. I don't know why it's not coming up. Okay, this is the dollar in one hour. In the one hour, let me put in a one hour. What's wrong here? Okay, this is daily. Hmm. Interesting. Let me get back to the other one. Sorry about this, guys. I don't know. Not allow me to go to the one hour. Hmm. And I want to really show you guys that. Hmm. 
Interesting. Well, guys, it looks like I'm going to owe you that one on the dollar. Technically, what I want to show you guys is, let me see if I can do it here. Okay, let's do it here, even though I hate this platform, but well. Okay, technically speaking, from the top right here, what you have? A five, a flat, or you can call it ABZ, but I like this as a flat. So, I mean, like I did on the, uh, on the out day can be the case that is one, a flat two, but I see seven swing here. Only way is A, B, Z for the bears, one, a flat two, and lower. That can be the only case. I mean, all the way around is A, B, Z, and then this is, this is right here, A, it's gonna go here, and it's gonna go here in the most compressed correction. But that's gonna be dollar bullish, because it's corrective. And remember, I mean, you have to play Elliott weight aging, guys. I mean, it's very hard to say where this thing's gonna go 100%. You gotta play Elliott weight aging. And Elliott weight aging means now sell the dollar. And then you have to see the recovery. If it goes in Porsche, you let it run. If it does, if it doesn't go in Porsche, then you do and close the tray and switch the side. Look, from the lows right here, I can see one, two, three, four, five. A clear five ways on the dollar out of this morning lows. It's a textbook one. You see the seven swing right here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Correct. Right here. This is on the on the 15 minute. This is the top so far. You can count five and then three backs. Another five. One, two, three, four, five. Then right here, one, two, one, two, three, four. Looks like this is a three, so you got W S Y. And then you have right here, I tell you the truth, guys, you need to buy the dollar around this area against this low. That's how it is. Even if you're wrong. All right. Now let's move on to the S P, which is a complete unbelievable mess. Let's see if it's in or allow me to open it. Now it's driving me not. Why is not allowing me to open the EZ now? Don't tell me that I have to do everything in the other platform. One second, I think I figured out what's the issue. One second. If not, you guys gonna forgive me about it. Okay. We got the S&P. S&P, scenarios. We got A, a B, like it looks like a triangle, and then dropping in what it looks to be a C way. Now, that this S&P things can drop to 11.95, even a little bit lower. Do not need to be only right there. 
technically, if this is a WS way, which is bullish, S&P most likely is going to go to 1178, 1180. That's going to take the euro and the dollar into the eight way, into the seven swing. You see that one, James, right? You like that scenario? Now, how are you going to see it? It's, it's very simple. It, it, 133 and change on the euro, 133.80, 133.50 area, can be the S way on the S&P. For more than I want the dollar to go higher, guys, it's very hard to me to count this and labor in this. Last night, it looks perfect. It's, it's, that's how it is. I would tell you on the, on the people in the room today, there is a fight what is taking place between both sides of the market. It's a complete fight. When there are people nervous because what happened in Europe, and then there are buyers and they sellers, and this is a mess. Look at, look at that price action. From the top right here, let's give the benefit of the Dow. Let's move to the 60 minute. Let's give the benefit of the Dow and say that this is a five way swing. I still questionable because I don't want to contradict my friend, but I go with my RSI, and my RSI is telling me that the low is the low. So in that degree, if this is A, B, C, W, S, something like that, do not surprise me the shoppiness that we have right here. Look, still, look at the RSI, the same thing that I always told you. I can prove it a hundred times that when that happens, it's a trap on the S&P. Look, that's a bullish divergence there. Now, ways to count it, many. I want you guys to look also to this, this is an area, look. Way Z above of the previous peak, lowest price, higher momentum. That's the only way that I can label a truncation. So maybe there is no a triangle in the middle, and maybe it's something like this. And I will be fine with it, because in that way, I can say that that can be the case with the only one parenthesis here. Something like this. And then you're gonna get corrected from here. Look at the SP, look at the RSI here. Look. This part right here, that's Change, you agree with me that that's nothing but imposter, right? I would say, to be safe with it, that right here, we have three ways. And then, three ways here, and I can count it downgrading a little bit the area side. Let me think. Like to the 15 minutes, now that we know where we stand right here, look. It looks like 535 five right here, look. The low is the low. Three backs. Those three backs, they went to the 618. And then from here, it looks like another impulsive swing or another three waves. Because the low is the low, look can say five from here, but well, it looks very well. It can be like a triangle on the RSI, look. And then from there, no, 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 <laughs> I have to laugh at that, my friend. <laughs> I'll be honest with you, I have to. It's unbelievable, my eyes are unbelievable. That's, that's completely unbelievable. <laughs> and then, I can, man. Because as I say in there, it's unbelievable that people laboring this bearish. I agree with you. And right here, you can say that you have a swing. You have three backs. 
and then maybe another triangle when you have from here one, two, three, four, five, another swing, and then it comes now the moment of true. Maybe this is one and in regular two, three, four, five. This is one. This looks, in my humble opinion, W S Y here. Now I was checking from the triangle and this high have no relation with it with this one, the whole thing. So but it's corrective. No question in my mind. That's corrective. And then let's see now if it's gonna get something bigger. But like I say, for me to put conclusion on it is this. This is nothing but bearish. This is everything but bearish. And I'm sorry my my mistake there. That's bullish. And that's it can be a triple, yeah. It can create a triple now. Like the, I mean, this is nothing but bullish, and that's why I keep my bias on the dollar bear. I'm sorry. I know the most popular guys in the world these days. I believe that only you and me are in the same boat right here. But well, I won't I won't deny the way I look at it. This is a bullish consolidation in my view, and that goes pretty well with these guys. So if this was corrective, the minimum target is there. Now, the other way around is, is the triangle. And as you guys know, I've been concentrating a lot in the S&P. It's because S&P is the one that dictates most of the time the whole thing of the dollar. Look, be honest with you, the most simple way to count on it is like this. But still, from here, look, it's corrective. One, two, three, four, five. Triangles cannot be wave two. And then, technically, this is telling me that the, that the S&P is going to trade sooner or later to the upside. That's all I can tell you. Now, let's move on to Cooper. I make Sir happy there. He loves Cooper. Look. <laughs> Send a scenario, guys. Send a scenario right here. You got copper with a three-way high, three backs to the 50% that it can get another low and May 7 swing, one, two, three, four, and a double six side, yes. But again, this is nothing but bearish. My bull, I mean, this is a bullish consolidation, man. That's my whole view. Another point. I start into the forest war now. Euro index. <laughs> Euro index. It looks like it's looking for an equivalent. You guys know what I'm going to say. I cannot say now. The kilo equivalent of 134 area, but day after day, Isa, what is proving? Corrective. That this is going to happen, in my view. I mean, yeah, I've dropped a bunch from 142 to 134. And something, guys, that I want to know that I know most of you know. When you see that 
they start defending a level, that, be, that means that the, that, the, that the bottom of the top is very close. And they're doing that with 134, in my opinion. So I believe that this pair is doing also a, a B, Z, W, S, Y. One second, A, B, C, W, S, A, a B, and it's going to go lower to, our, to the 76.4 in the euro index that comes around 105.10. And then from there, it should bounce, in my opinion. Now, let's move on to the in, individual pairs and make, and make everyone happy there. Believe it or not, they're screaming on me. What is Forex? They were typing there. <laughs> yeah, one second, Raji. It's Friday night. Let me see, because I'm still long cable. <laughs> I'm laughing because of what people typing right there. There is a guy saying, yes, yes, forest, forest. I know, I know, I will do it. Do you know why we're doing it? Because uh, I, didn't, I didn't press a notice and then I don't want to let everyone down. But this will, guys, this will be the last Friday seminar. I didn't say it during the week and I say, okay, I have nothing. Let me do it for the last time. No, but don't, don't be honest with you. It has a meaning because you can get an idea getting onto your weekend planning if, if you can look at it like that. The thing is that I need rest. And the thing is that little by little this week, the trading room was much better. And we're going to be more scattering next week or enter all that stuff now the euro send a scenario guys no need for change the euro is the same as i was playing on the dollar right here it looks like it looks like the euro is either the thing is that from here the, for the poor, for the bullish euro unless this is like a type of nesting let's put it like that when you have one a flat two Unbelievable that just that we didn't get feel by four picks right here. Unbelievable. And I, I, I want to show you guys why I entered right there now. It's because I knew that I was fading a five. And the 1.236, it was at 38. I said, okay, let's put, the, let's put the order a little bit higher. And they make a marginal new low. And bounce unbelievable but I knew that it's gonna go higher there now the thing is that from here I don't see I don't see five ways to be honest with you I see more like one two three four five six seven swing to be quite honest with you or I can see one two one let me see yeah one two one two i don't know it's very tricky but you can see five swings here you can see five way you can see five swings in the let's say in the ten, in the five minute charge you see five swings to the to the downside Well, not necessarily five swing. Hmm. Not necessary. I didn't see it so close because I've been doing some things in the morning. But this is a three-way. Ah. 
That's very interesting. It's not a five-way swing. This is a three. And this is our three ways here. And this is five. Yeah, but it breaks the law, so it means that this law is gone. Sooner or later, this go. Well, not necessary. It can be a, a double six sound to here. It can be A, B, C, W, S, A, B, Z, Y. They're playing hard, hardball, guys. That's all I can tell you. Let me, let me tell you what I see. Or you guys should know right now why he stopped right here. He stopped right there because that high in London is by the peak, the 50% retracement of the previous swing. And the 1.236 around that area right there. So technically, the better way to count and more better is A, flat B, and Z. But this C, if this one can be a phi coming here, it's questionable. But I know that this is a 3, and I know that this is a 3, and this is a 5. So I would rather go A, B, C, W. If this is a W, then the euro is bearish. If that's the battle now, I would say that the euro is bearish. For the, for the euro bulls, you need another low. You guys got it there? You need another low for the dollar bulls. Now, cable, on the other hand, I believe that cable, it did five ways to the downside. One second. Because I'm following more cable now than Euro, because I'm not in that long trade. From the lows, same scenario, one, two, three, four, five, or a double six side here. I like it as a double six side. A, B, C, W, S, A, B, C, Y. This is A, the biggest A here. A three back when you have one, two, three, four, five, one, two, one, two, three. Correct here to the six, one, eight. And then from here, one, two, three, three backs. This low is the six, one, eight, or this one. And then from here, one, three up. So, so, technically speaking, it looks corrective to the upside. Yes. I mean, technically speaking, can be corrected. Yes, I, yes. Can be like that. Let me see really small here, one thing. Because I believe that cable did the five way with an extended one. I have one, two, one, two. Hmm. I don't see that. I don't see a four here. One, two, three, four. I got this very well defined swing here. Let me see the RSI. Maybe it's one, two, three. Yeah, three, four, one, two, three, four, five. I see a very good, it looks like a five, like this. One, two, three, four, 
five. Let me see. Biggest corrections on the middle, but well, let me see one thing. To the two six one eight down there. Thirty eight or two. Yeah, it looks good. Pass a little bit the the six one eight, so it can be count as a five because even this one one two three four and even the wave five here one two three four five. Yeah, it's a cable did a five to the downside from the top right here. Now it's as simple as this, guys. Is I'm gonna say it one more time. If this the B way of this is a W. If it's a, a B way of Y, then around the, the 50 or the 618 here, 5825, 5840, it should trade lower to a new low. And then looking that, otherwise, can be the case, one second, that it goes, that this is, let me forget about the, the that this is W, and then we're going to test lower again, unbelievable, to around 157.40, and then this is A, we're going to be in the B and the C way lower. That's the other way around. And then this is A, B, C, A, B, Z, and that's the bullish one. And then from there, it's going to trade higher. Now, looking on the four hour, It's cable. Oh my God! I hate when I, I hate when I lose. There you go. Cable just went. Cable is being very strong, Raji. Because everyone is close to the 76.4 and cable is only on the 50. Now, from the top, it can be A, B, C, W, the same scenario. And then this is S, and then it went back to the 50% of this one. And then now, another swing lower to either. So check out these numbers. To either 5613, 5481. Equal leg, 618. One of the two is going to make it. But in my view, in my view, in my view, this is corrective. You have three swing right here, or you have A, B with an irregular and the C way diagonal. I believe that this is the right count here. One second, let me do it for you guys. I see a corrective. Something like that. And then now we are right here, A. We are in the B already. And then you need another five swing from here like this to around this area before bouncing. That's what I like it. But it's corrective. My view is corrective. You've got to trace this channel here.
Now the question is, is this all you're going to get in the big way? Yes, possible. Who knows? Maybe they want to play some game now and make everyone more complicated and they're going to do this, but I doubt it. I doubt it. I doubt it. Now, guys, let me show you something that I don't know if you guys follow that, but it's very interesting. The Eurocat. Let me put on the four hour burst. Look, that's the Euro cat. You got a swing that ended here. Look, that ended here, like a five-way swing. And then from here, which is the top, look what you guys had. Five, three, five, three wakes. One, two, three, three wakes. And then from there you have one, two, three. And then a flat here, three, three, one, two, three, four, five, B, and a C almost to the equal legs. Now, you have a bad right there. You guys see a, you see a correct also, Isa, right? From here to here. That's bullish, coming out of the five. And you know, I don't want to do that, how this pair looks on the dailies and the weekly. Now, if you do an overlay of the Euro dollar against the Euro cap, you're going to see that they're very similar. Now, if this pair is going to go higher, That means that the whole Euro group is going to get higher, right? Now, it's very interesting here because this can be another flat right here and then having one more leg down right here to finish the move to around 136.80, something like that. That can be very possible. But I see... I see five ways. This is a good trade for people that want to take it now. In the 15 minute chart and the 15 in the small time frame, I see a defined one, two, and then from here you can see one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three. Let me see. One, two. I see five swings. One, two, three, four, five, right here, look. Wave three of three was extended. That's why uh, I didn't see at the moment. But you see that this right here, you got five swing. Now, no matter what it is, after five swing, this pair is going to drop. So taking a short right here with a stop of the high, can be a very profitable trade because you you fading a five. This looks like a three. You don't need to put a stop here. On uh, this pair of does a lot of flat. So I just want, just want you guys to understand that. Let me see. But the pair it looks like a dear five and another five. So and this looks a five here. So it's a three-way overall, but I would rather then sell it with a stop here, risking 30 picks, and that can be a very proper. But what I, the message is that this consolidation is bullish consolidation, like everything in the market. The target, 
Let me see. Let me put it again. Sa Aisa, I would say this. If the count is correct, which I believe it is, the equal less comes at 37, 25. The 618A of the first leg comes at 3688, something from there. And then if this is a flat, You gotta take into consideration also this. Yeah, I would say Teddy, look, the equal legs of this is equal to the whole move around 37, 33. And that's gonna be a heck of the long trade to 150. I've been saying that for I don't know how many months. But that's bullish. Another one is this one. I still hear the news today that I'm tired on it about the European Central Bank. Then, don't you guys notice, guys? Don't have to be a genius. That every time that they see the euro declining, they're going to start, they, that's what I've been saying. We are fighting a beast, which is the government. You're going to see now, they're going to say that somebody's going to buy the bonds. I heard something that the United States is going to start buying Italian bonds. I don't know. Look, Euro Yen, same scenario. One, two, three. Right? A clear triangle when you have A, B, C, one, two, three, four, five. It goes right here and it is sideways. It looks like half one more low around the equal legs right there. It's not only that. You mentioned here, it looks like it's looking for around the 103 area right here. But look at the RSI. And there is no five swing, my boo. This is not a five way swing. So enough evidence right there in my view. Any pair of guys also I'll see it did a five way from the lows. I don't know if you guys know it. Nobody has talked about it. Last night. It looks like it did a five-way swing from the lows. And now it looks correct into the downside. So one, two, three, four, five. Now it looks like it did five, three backs. It looks corrective. I don't know if you like it as a five. Let me go more. Other side, I see the five swing. What do you mean from here, like this? Yeah. Listen, that's WSY. Yeah, but I don't see that much subdivision here. I don't see that much of division there. This is what happened, guys. When the market get like this, that's another thing. 
I would rather label it like A. When the market gets like this, and the market gets only one side, guess what's gonna happen, guys? Every three ways, equal legs, market's gonna sell. Remember, computers are smart, but they are programming by a human being. You know what I mean? So, sometimes it's, you have to let it go a little bit. Maybe, but again, look at this, and you guys gonna tell me. November the 1st, at 7, 7 a.m. in the morning, price 102.76, lower, Lowest read, yeah, it can be A, B, C, W, and then S, and then this can be A, and going higher to around 101.40, yes, which is the, yeah, the 50% and lower for the final leg. It looks like that, that's the thing of the home market. But look, look at these eyes, I look. A 17 days, 200 pick divergency. Show me how that's gonna be wave three of three in an hour. Show me. You agree? I mean, I don't know. If you take a look at the Aussie, I know, man. If you take a look at this, I can tell you this is a three-way. I mean, and this because people like to lose the money, Isaac. That's why I start to believe that. But this looks like it's looking for 99, 99.10, and it's, it's the six one a of the whole move, in my opinion. And it's also the six one a of the first leg. And I got to tell you this, guys. Look at the weekly. I've been saying this forever, but I'm going to say it to prove me wrong. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven swings. You need an A and a nine. That's all I can tell you. Look, look this low right here, which is, look at the RSI. This is wave three, four and five. But look at this low, how perfect it went right there, which is telling me from here you have one, two, three, four, five. So it's going to be like down to prove me wrong. In my view, it went to the equal legs. That's why it dropped hard right there. I like it higher. What do you mean higher? Ah, in the short time frame, yes, most likely. Most likely. Earlier weight aging is, the, is how everyone should play, guys. Earlier weight aging. Otherwise, you're going to get burned. This week, it hasn't been that easy because of even on the Montrichard, you can see the five swing. One, two, one, two, three, four, five. I mean, this week, if you didn't get the move from the top, it's been easy to write it down unless you go like, let's do it.
And the worst part is that this one is a clear five-way move. One, two, three, four, five, six, and then you have a seven. You got divergency there. And then right here on the Montreal, you have a small divergency. One, two, one, two. One, two, three, four. Then this is a cycle that closed right here. I need to check how it's laboring. But you have to, you got to play smart, guys. Now, this looks bearish. I don't, I don't disagree that you can say it's a double zigzag. But what doesn't look bearish is this. In my view, that starts looking bullish. But this also looks like a three ways. It's very hard to trade these long time frames now. Any question, guys? Any pair that you guys want to see? Small time frame, guys. It's better. No small time frame. Concentrate in the four hour, one hour, even lower. And it, it's going to be less pain for that. They're playing high ball all the way. Yesterday, I was so clear that the euro is going to go from 140 out. And it goes and it went almost 170 picks. And we didn't got fear by four picks. And believe me, I can show you this. Why I, I didn't put it on the feeble. I went higher on the feeble. Look, it was so clear to me right here that we have. This is from the high, yeah? That it was. A one, a one, two. What's happening with this mouse? A one, two, three, four with a triangle. It was so clear to me here. And then the minimum that he can go is to the one point twenty three six. And that was our entry, a little bit above the, and then they, they they did the marginal marginal new low, and boom, it goes. My what? But I knew. Look at this. That's unbelievable. Any question, guys? Yeah, I know. The, the thing is that never never is the same. Sometimes it goes to the 1.618, or sometimes they go to the 618. Who knows? You see, you remember the entry? I put my entry at the 23.6, at the 618, at the 1.618, and at the 618. But what? That's how it is. We were clear in the market this week all over. We say on Sunday, fade the, the open. And yesterday, another trade. But what? Well, that's, the, that's the way it is. What are you going to do? There's going to be two more trades next week as good as uh, those two. So nothing to get disappointed about. When I wake up today, I say, where you go? Because when I wake up around 7 in the morning, it was around here, and at that stage, it was very clear to do three, four, and then you say, here we go. One, two, three, four, and deny again. And you know what? You know how they do this? Because Isaac, they're going to start accumulating shores and shores. And everyone getting into the trap and shores and shores. 
And when they see those ratios, I don't know how they call it, those ratios to be go to the short side, woof, they're going to squeeze higher and take everyone money. And people keep selling it and taking money, selling it and taking money. And the wave three, everyone changed the count to the new wave three. <laughs> that's again, that's what they're doing. Okay, guys, no more questions, so let's leave it there. Happy weekend, everyone. Talk to you guys next week on Sunday. Thank you, guys. Mm-hmm. <sighs>